Welcome to my class students, class 6 subject mathematics. So to, we were doing our exercise 12.1. So then fourth one. Draw a line segment PQ. Without measuring PQ, construct a copy of PQ. This is very easy students. You know the line segment. They are just telling you to draw a line segment. Draw any line. Draw any line of no measurement. Without any measurement, draw a line. I have drawn a line segment that is PQ. After drawing this line segment PQ, take your compass. Take your compass. So, I have constructed a line segment that is PQ with the help of your compass. See, we are not using a ruler here for measuring. They are telling without measurement. So, I am just using the compass. I am seeing the length of this line segment, what is the length of the line segment here? I have taken the length of the line segment here. I am using the ruler again, drawing a line. So with the help of the ruler, I have drawn the line here. This is my needle point, that is P. I am just, I am drawing a needle line segment, Q here. So I got the copy of PQ. So here is the copy of PQ that we have constructed. Next fifth one. So here fifth question. Given a line segment AB whose length you do not know. We don't know the line segment of AB. Construct PQ such that the length of PQ is twice than that of AB. So this is the line segment AB whose length we don't know the length of this length. Line segment. We have not taken the exact measurement of this line segment. They are telling us to construct PQ such that the length of PQ is twice in that of AB. Twice means what students? One time plus two times. That is, this is once. Then the same measurement again is nothing but twice. So here we have taken the measurement of AB line segment. We are constructing, I am pointing out on the needle. See here, my needle is on the starting point P. And I am constructing once. Next, we are telling twice. So again, where I have drawn the R, my needle is there, the starting point. Next, I am con constructing again. So this is PQ. PQ is what? It is twice the AB. So we have constructed a line segment that is twice the AB. Sixth one, using the scale and a pair of compass, draw the line segments of line. This is the same thing students, you can do it by yourself. Take a compass, measure it 5.8 cm and draw the line segments with the help of the scale and a pair of compass. Next seventh one, draw two line segments AB and CD of length 6.5 cm and 7.7 cm respectively. They have given us two line segments of length how much? That is 6.5 and 7.7 cm. They are telling us to construct a line segment of the following lengths. So we have to find out first one. So in this sum what is given for us students? Two line segments are given. That is AB equals 6.5 cm and CD equals 7.7 cm. We have to construct a line segment of the length AB plus CD. So given AB line segment I have taken the, with the help of the ruler I have drawn 6.5 cm line segment that is AB. Next 7.7 .7 line segment that is CD. So just I have drawn a line here. I will just mark it a point here. And name it. You can name anything. I am just naming here. That is we have to draw AB plus CD no. So this AB plus CD I am just naming as OB. I will draw it. I will mark it as O here. So how much is AB given for us? 6.5 cm with the help of compass and just taking the measurement 
6.5 cm with the help of my compass I mark it down O that is the needle point draw a arc it is 6.5 cm plus CD they are telling so take the measurement of CD with the help of the ruler and your compass see here I have drawn already I am taking the measurement that is 7.7 cm here Where I have drawn the arc that is O and this arc, the first measurement of AB line segment. Place your compass on the arc and mark an second arc on the line, same line. On the same line. This is what? This is the line segment CD measurement we have got. So we have done a sum. So this is the measurement of the line OP. What we have done? We have constructed AB here with the first arc. Next CD with our second arc. And we have got the line segment here. That is OP. Next the second one B1. CD plus AB. That is also the same thing. You can follow the same measure my procedure that is given what is given you should write and the measurements and then construct the given line you can name it anything next eighth one construct any line segments ab without measuring it copy it and construct another line segment pq such that pq equals 3ab so, do you remember students, fifth month we have done the same type of measurement we have done. They have sent you twice the length of AB. But here it is 3 AB. 3 means thrice. Thrice the length of the given measurement PQ. So, here the same, the same procedure should be followed. Here we have done once, twice and thrice you should do. The same thing should be followed for eighth month. Ninth one, if, if PQ equals 6.5 centimeters, ST equals 3.5 centimeter, construct the following. That is the same procedure how we did for this one. That is AB plus CD we have done no. So we have got the line segments here AB and CD. The same way we have got here the line segments PQ and ST. So here PQ plus ST you should do. Next this one I will show. PQ minus ST how you should do. So what is given for us? Given line segment is PQ and ST that is 6.5 and 3.5. The first one I have done it here. The 6.5 plus 3.5 that is PQ plus ST equals 10 centimeters. I have drawn the line segment. Next B1 I am telling you. PQ minus ST they are given. What is the measurement of PQ that is given for us? I have been taken the measurement of PQ that is line segment PQ equals 6.5 cm. They are telling us to subtract PQ from ST. So, sorry, subtract XT from PQ. Take the measurement of ST that is 3.5 cm. I have taken the measurement of ST. Point it on P and draw an arc here. We have done the sum. We have subtracted ST from PQ. This 3.5 cm. Now with the help of your ruler, measure the remaining length. What is the remaining length that is we are having? So here we got 3 cm. So 10th one students, draw a line segment of length 8.8 cm using a scale and a ruler. That one is UC. I have explained you the previous sums. You can do it by yourself. 11th one we can do. That is draw a line segment of length 5 cm. Draw a perpendicular to the line from point P lying outside the line. So here I have constructed a line segment of length 5 cm. What I have to do? I have to draw perpendicular. I have to construct a perpendicular line. That is, take the measurement from line from A. This is a line segment of how much? 5, five cm. So, take more than half. More than half 
measurement with the help of your compass draw an arc draw an arc from point first point next with the same point from this side draw an arc again here the same thing on down also the same thing on other side also see i am drawing the arc one arc up one arc down from point this point from the starting point here one arc up and one arc down now join this two arcs with the help of your ruler join the arc now see whether you have constructed the correct perpendicular take your ruler see the measurement the line segment is 5 cm now where we have got the perpendicular yes it's, it is exactly on 2.5 cm so our construction is correct so this is the line segment of measurement 6.5 cm now they are telling mark a point a on it so i have just mark a point a on it that is with the starting point we have to construct a perpendicular perpendicular means as i have said in the previous problem take more than half the measurement take more than half and our point our mark a point a on it so with this a i am just taking the measurement and constructing a semicircle i am constructing a semicircle next with the starting point of the semicircle i am just drawing an arc with the ending point of the semicircle i am again drawing an arc here see here next from here i am constructing another arc that is the two arcs that i have gone next with the same arc the first arc I am constructing a neither arc to get my perpendicular. Next, with this second arc, I am constructing other arc to get my perpendicular. Now we have got our two arcs bisecting here. So now, with the help of your ruler, join this. This should join on the point where you have marked. That is the point A. this bisector that the arcs what you have bisected this should join on the point a that shows that your construction is correct complete exercise 2.1 to that now